What up, y'all? This is Brian Mazik, a.k.a. Franchise Play, and I got another episode of the Franchise Fiction. We're moving through this pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, this draft class is coming together pretty nicely, so the My GM series should be starting in not too long. But right in front of your face right now, you have the Puerto Rican point forward, Angel Corrales. Now, he grew up idolizing Puerto Rican boxing legend, living legend, still active, Miguel Cotto. But he and he had designs on actually becoming a boxer, but he hit a growth spurt and his daddy told him, don't you hit not nan another, not a nan another boxing bag. Don't hit not a nan another speed bag. Don't skip not a nan another second as rope. Don't do not a nan another one. Your future is not in the ring where you can get slapped. He was getting slapped around anyway. He, he, he was getting, his record was old for the year. So it was no point. So it was actually a blessing that Angel hit the growth spurt. Now he's six foot ten and a point forward. Now he got some things he got to clean up about his game got some some holes here and there so he's not a perfect prospect wouldn't jump up there to the top of the board ahead of guys like Hussein Hawkins and possibly Kwali Muda and, and those types of guys he's not going to jump up ahead of them on the franchise fiction draft class but he's somebody to, to keep an eye on maybe as a late lottery pick middle of the first round keep your eye on Angel Corrales big time size for the small forward position this do not be afraid do not be afraid things happen sometimes is one of my favorite players in this draft class now it's not i love it when the guys are not perfect so this is not a perfect prospect by any means before you do anything he got to go to the barbershop to get something done to whatever's going on with his face head neck chest and back because there's a lot of stuff happening here but he this is money matt pellegrino all right, and he is a big time shooter, but it's only when his feet are set. He's not a good shooter when he's moving. Now, you might be wondering what I mean, as an athlete, he's not a great athlete, but he has good size for small forward position at about six foot eight. At least that's what we think he's going to measure out at, at about six foot eight. But Matt Pellegrino is actually 25 years old. So that's a drawback right there in itself. And you're looking, because I know you're looking at him saying, this boy is not no 19 years old. He looks like he's 40. But this is what happens when life hits you kind of hard. He was just diagnosed with FFA, which is uh, fantasy football addiction. So because of his FFA, he was pretty much off the grid for a long time, except for to the people in his fantasy league. And uh, it was causing him a lot of, a lot of grief. He stopped practicing his jump shot shooting stopped working on his game period and just did throwing himself into fantasy football it wasn't even football season and he's you know we talking about in july and he's plotting his fantasy team that you can't do that and this is what led him to uh, being diagnosed with ffa so he seems to have beaten his addiction so hopefully he can keep his career on track and uh make make something of himself in the nba uh, Money Matt Pellegrino is a sentimental favorite of mine. Here's another one of the guys that I really like in this draft class. His name is Jason Highsmith. Jason Highsmith is a former track star. He is a banana cakes athlete. Just crazy. His running and jumping, his run and jump athleticism measures off the charts i'm talking about lebron level athleticism but here's the problem there's not a lot of basketball skills there right now he's if this was football and he was a and he was being recruited he would be designated as an athlete without a position because we don't really know where it's gonna fall he's about six foot six at least that's what they told us so we're thinking small forward shooting guard right in there thinking more small forward because he can't dribble slob so it's ridiculous what, what's happening with him right now but the as far as athleticism if you want to throw somebody out there who can match up 
with the number one offensive threat on the other on the other team if you want a guy who can run the wing and finish above the rim with ferocity you want Jason Highsmith, the former track star, you might be wondering what events did he compete in? Compete in all of them, every one of them. Shot put, discus, hundred yard dash, swept up the dirt, everything, anything that had to do with track and field. Jason Highsmith was out there, and now he's trying to switch sports. Why? Because there is no professional track and field league, and the Olympics only goes so far for you. It's time for him to make a transition. And he is looking at basketball because also because of the height. Inspired by watching Usain Bolt in one of the celebrity basketball games. Saw him just dunking and, and just it just did something for him. So we're going to see what happens with Jason Highsmith. Again, one of my favorites. Maybe a late round, late first round pick. Or maybe he sneaks up somebody's just really captivated by the athleticism. It could happen. Jason Highsmith. Y'all stay tuned for the next episode of this franchise fiction. We got to look at the back of Jason's head, though. I mean, what is going What kind of barber? He looks like he's getting his hair cut with enzymes and bacteria or something as opposed to a razor. Somebody's just laying an old nasty rag on his head and letting him just eat off at the hair. I don't know what's happening. Jason, go to the barbershop. Go to the doctor, too. Get some cream for that. That'll do it. Y'all subscribe. Follow. Peace.